In this video, we're going to have a look at the exponential law, where we have a power that is raised to another power and a product raised to a power. Law 3 states that when you have one base with two exponents, you can multiply those two exponents with each other. Here we have 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 4. And according to the law, we keep the base the same and multiply the exponents. And 3 times 4 is 12. This means that here we have 12 3's that should be multiplied. The same applies for variables. So here we will have x to the power of 7 times 3 and that is 21. In law 4 we have a look at what happens when a product is raised to a power. This law states that the power should be applied to each of the bases. Here we have 2 multiplied with x to the power of 4. And the law states that both these bases, the 2 and the x, should now be to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16, x to the power of 4. Let's have a look at combinations of these two laws. Example 1. Simplify. In A, we have three different bases to the power of 2. And law 4 states that the 2, the exponent, should be applied to each one of the bases. So for the first base, we will now have 3 to the power of 2. When it comes to the variables, we will also use exponential law number 3. Because we already have an exponent that is now raised to a second exponent, we will multiply these exponents to get x to the power of 8. And similarly for y, we will say 5 times 2 is 10. And now we can go one step further because 3 squared is 9, x to the power of 8, y to the power of 10. In b, we once again have three different bases and the exponent on the outside has to be applied to all three. For the first base of 5 it is important to realize that minus 5 will now be to the power of 3 and for the variables we will once again also use the third law so we will have 8 times 3 is 24 and for y we will say 2 times 3 and that will give us 6. It is useful to remember that when a negative value is raised to an even power, it will always become positive. But when a negative value is raised to an odd power, it will stay negative. So here, minus 5 to the power of 3 will still be a negative value. And 5 to the power of 3 is 125. In example 2a we now have division but it is important to note that law 4 will still be applied because we still have one term with three different bases. This means that the exponent of 4 has to be applied to each of the three bases. So first off we will have 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by x to the power of 3 to the power of 4 and using the law we will multiply those exponents. And the same will happen in the denominator where we have y to the power of 5 to the power of 4 and multiplying those exponents will give us 20. In b we now have a bracket multiplied by another product and this means that we will use a variety of laws. We will be using law 3, 4 and 1. I'm going to start off by simplifying the bracket and for that we're going to use the fourth law by applying the exponent to each base. This will then give us 6 to the power of 2 and then we will use the third law to say x to the power of 10 times y to the power of 2 because y has an exponent of 1. And this still has to be multiplied by 3x squared y cubed. 
So now here we have 36 x to the power of 10 y to the power of 2 times 3 x to the power of 2 y to the power of 3. Next, I can multiply the constant values as normal, and 36 multiplied by 3 is 108. Next, for the variables, I will use law number 1, and to multiply the same bases, I will add their exponents. So this will give us x to the power of 12, and the same goes for y when we add, we will get 5. So it is very important to be able to identify which law to use when. Because here, in my first step, I used law 3 when I multiplied the two exponents with each other to get 10. And in the last step, I added the different exponents to get the final exponent.